Just before I start this video, I just want to give you a bit of context on how the sort of Weapons of War series will work. So Series 1 is about the Ally weapons and Series 2 will be the Central Powers. So each week I'll do a new weapon and within each episode there'll be you know different sections and I'll give an actual review of the weapon in game but I'll also give some uh, real historical information about the weapon as well. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the intro as well, it's a bit more darker but I thought it suits sort of the World War One feel and I hope you enjoy the video, cheers. So the Berthier Rifle series was brought in around 1890 to replace the Lebel Rifle. The Lebel Rifle was becoming obsolete in the sort of modern world and it was known to be really slow uh, reloading and which in turn would means it was quite slow to fire as well. And the reason for this is because it was tube fed uh, the reloading system and the tube fed reloading system was becoming more and more outdated as time went on. So the French solution to that was the Berthier Rifle. And the Berthier rifle used block fed magazines which were much more quicker and were practical to use on horseback. Now as we know in World War I horseback combat was still very relevant and you could not use a Lebel rifle on horseback because it was just impossible to reload so this was you know, a really important factor to consider for them. Uh, the weapon was also used in different conflicts around the world uh, between Greece and Turkey for example and was even, uh, the rifle was even used in Vietnam at one point and the French finally stopped using it around the start of World War II, so 1939 or 1940 but as I say it still got used after that by different nations. It was even like so much that the Turkish made their own adaptation of it and you can see sort of videos online of people using it, it's quite interesting. It's a pretty good rifle. So the Berthier rifle really surprised me when they done how good it was. I, you know, I give the French a lot of stick on this game for the, the weapons they have. I think they're a bit old fashioned and some of them just don't seem to work effectively for how the game is. But the Berthier rifle really uh, did, did surprise me. The main thing you notice is how quick it reloads. And I like how we don't have like, learned this from the, sort of the historical aspects of, of, the, uh, of the weapon itself. So as I said before, it's a block fed magazine and it does show that in this game. Um, the variant I'm using here is the 1907 variant. There is another variant which came shortly after the Lebel rifle was put out of service, or sort of changed from the Lebel rifle. So you can use two rifles in the game, which are uh, Berthier style rifles. But yeah, definitely worth a look. Really accurate and uh, easy to reload. And I think it's good for sort of long range and short range. It's, it does, does both jobs really well. I think it is important to sort of add this in as well. I think the iron sights for this weapon are really good. And it's like a flat top iron sight, uh, similar to the Car 98, for example, or the Enfield uh, Mark III rifles. So it's a similar sight to them. However, this is I think this is the best flat top uh, sight in the game for me personally. Uh, it's, it's clear and it's got a sort of a little V dent, which makes it easier to see. I know there's a lot of rifles that, ha that are flat top the Car 98, for example, even though it's it is one of the better guns in the game it's like a guaranteed one shot kill um, but sometimes I just feel like that weapon it can be a bit inaccurate because just because it's hard to see but this this gun seems to do a really good job so following on from the series we've got next week we've got the 1892 revolver and I'll be doing another one on that and then we'll have another weapon the week after all the videos to this series will be found in one playlist and uh, it should be on as soon as this video is out so thanks for watching cheers Oh!